Let's see what the game is. We got All Sensei right. versus Utopian Ray. Hey. Oh, it's been a hot second since I've seen Ray. And he is rocking the banjo online. Um, I honestly really like Ray's banjo. Oh, I, yeah. Uh, it's, you know, his Palutena is also, of course, super solid. Ray's, you know, has been one of the better players in the New York area for a long time. Um, but his banjo just does unexpected things. He's very creative. You know, he really uses the projectiles and tricky movement uh, to create openings that kind of feel unique to this character. Interesting punish on that whiff. Just throws a grenade right in their face for some sort of... Oh, what a call out. Knew he was going to jump out of the corner and just chop some with two up airs. Yeah, trying to get it to firm off this grenade egg. They're using really well right now. In fact, this is the tool that they're using in this matchup. It's gonna help out a lot. Yeah. Okay. I like the uh, I like the fact that Sensei was realizing that all of these jumps were being caught uh, from by Utopian Ray, so he's staying much more grounded. Three Wonder Wings left on the stock. They're definitely trying to ra read something random here, just to take it. Ooh. Yeah, okay, done. yeah. Uh -huh. Great shield. Will he get the punish? Oh, he gets a re-grab. Chain grabs. Oh, nice mash out uh, from Resente to avoid getting killed there. That's a confirm. I think he's going to have to mash extra hard again. Yes. Yeah. It's with ZSS's air drift. Even after that air dodge, it's just so hard to pin her down. Oh, just, okay. Nothing off the egg. Up air is not going to kill. It's not a really dangerous move to get hit by. Yeah, and you, like a lot of the moves that Utopian Ray likes to go for in neutral aren't the type of moves that get killed so easily. Right as I that say that, does, <laughs> yeah, the back air managing to kill from mid stage, and Ooh, a no grab problem. release setup. Oh, okay. Okay, I think he was maybe looking for a cheeky kill of some kind, um, but Utopian Ray being aware didn't let it happen. Oh, what? They were almost safe. They were almost safe, but that still didn't kill them. One more wing left on the stock. His, his win condition has almost run out. Yeah. That grenade is so useful. <laughs> I love the sound that Banjo gets a remake. <laughs> Go home. That's so cute. Oh, Forge yeah. Not gonna kill. Yeah. ZSS's grabs are just not great at these higher percents. But, you know, when Utopian Ray is so comfortable shielding, you're gonna have to do something to make him just scare him a bit. She's still a fast character, so if she gets a little more damage, that throw could kill. And the oh. last wing is wasted. Now it's just grenades. And uh, out of shield options. Has he landed a single Wonder Wing yet? Not really. They've just been using it a lot for like trying to hard read a jump or something. Or whiff. Or recover. Yeah, so, I mean, we oh, joke about how it's his win condition, but he doesn't, he hasn't been needing it. And here he is at 203%. ZSS is not supposed to be a character that struggles to kill so much, but Utopian Ray, just aware of Sensei's kill options, is avoiding Ooh, it constantly. That was nice. Shoot it out. All Man right, great killed. job there. Side yeah. B. Using the, like, the fact that that side B has really great range to, That's uh... good punish. Yeah. Not really going for a quick kill on a uh, oh. Ray. Oh, oh, the late hit! Nice, nice. Doesn't kill though, which means that you know he's gonna have to find the stock in some other way. I like how Ray's gonna keep going for that and like un until like Sensei doesn't mash out, which Sensei is is doing the right thing of mashing out every time they get uh, grabbed by that down throw. Yeah, I mean, it's ZSS, so getting stage positioning and putting her off stage isn't necessarily the, the most useful thing. Mm. So you might as well go for a down throw and possibly get a hard read for a stock. Making these grenades, uh... Oh, no oh. punish! They could have side beat. I think he was just, I think that was probably like frames away from connecting, though. So I think Utopian Ray just thought he had more time than he did. Yeah. Back air, though. Again, taking the stock. Very strong move from Banjo. Yeah. And, uh, you, like, a lot of the times that Utopian is oh. these neutral interactions, it's from just catching a jump. <laughs> Their movement, too. It's really good. Like, are you using that time to stall from the from the Angel platform? Just to punish that up B attempt from... Oh, we got to reset. Oh, but he oh. barely missed times to up B. That would have been huge for Sensei. And, unfortunately... He didn't, he, he didn't take that stock, and he looks like he's about to be lapped in percent. 
Yeah, Ethiopian and Raid running tracks around the Sensei. These grenades are really helping. The jumps, the extra jumps, the upbees. I'm, I'm liking the patience from Sensei. So, like it's, he's like putting on pressure and then just sitting still and reacting to what Utopian Ray is trying to do at, out of like out of that pressure string. Oh, okay. They take that time and rolled away. Is maybe it's oh. since they waited a little bit, they probably would have got that. But the side B, the Wonder Wing, finally connects, and Ray takes the first game. Banjo. Uh -huh. With Kazooie. Uh -huh. I, uh -huh. should, I should get my banjo. Yeah. <laughs> I love this character too. I'm so glad they put him in the game. Oh, I mean literal banjo. Oh, your banjo? Oh, like your, my your, banjo, your musical? yeah. Oh. The banjo that I got in the in the basement. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta play it every time he takes a stock. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I, I, I know at one point I learned the uh, the little the little lick that they play during the victory animation. The lick, yes. <laughs> you know, if, if in a different timeline, I maybe would have gone as Banjo for Halloween. <laughs> Bird with bear. Yeah, Sensei was... Uh, I feel like Sensei was like slowly getting outclassed by that grenade play. Very hard to like catch. It was. It's one of those things where... At the very beginning, he was playing around it pretty well, but it just was so mentally taxing to constantly be playing oh, around yeah. a very versatile projectile like that. Yeah. And so just eventually, I part of that was also most likely adaptation on Ray's part. The fact, you know, he studies the opponent's habits more, but, um, oh, and we see a total character switch. We're seeing, so this is gonna be Snake. snake. So, it's, you know, Snake versus Bad Snake. One, <laughs> Oh, already you can see that Utopian Ray's approach is totally different. It's so much more focused on the projectile gameplay. Now, we didn't really see him grabbing the grenades so much in that yeah, last the, game. Yeah, now they're just throwing it at them like, all right, cool, yeah. you can play a slow character. <laughs> like, you don't think I have a way around that too? <laughs> oh, oh. I really thought that was going to kill him. Ah, nice the escape, escape option. <laughs> yes. Wonder Wing is one of the best tools in the game. Yeah, now opinion. one thing is that... When you don't whiff it, though. Oh. Yeah. yeah. When, with, with Snake, Snake can kill a lot. Oh, like where that. are you going, oh, buddy? He has Wonder Wing still. Oh, he should make yeah, it they, had to, they had to burn too, though. Yo. Yeah. They were dead, but they were heavy enough to live that. Oh, I thought that was going to catch him, but Ray was not close enough. Oh, straight up. They went straight up for that. Yeah. I don't think they were, uh, think they were ready to, be, to DI that either. This this game started off really well for Utopian Ray. It felt like he had a game plan that he was immediately able to switch to. But then there were some, felt like some technical errors that happened. And it was like, kind of got flustered, put in the corner, put in bad situations. And oh. that's giving Sensei the room to run away with this game. Already dealing 65%. And against Snake. Uh, oh, they live Against nice. Snake, a, a lead matters a lot. Drifting into the egg just to go catch it. Down throw. Nice. Snake not having much air mobility, so they get caught by that. Ooh, dash attack. Very fast option for Snake. They're close enough, they're going to do it. Good one for the grenades. Nice uh, throwback of the grenades too. You can't let Snake uh, keep throwing these at you. Down tilt, nice. Good on Sensei yeah. to hold that grenade in their hands to avoid getting to that mix-up. Oh, Ooh, nice. That was so. That was great. Knowing that the grenade was, ex you know, exerting pressure, he runs all the way and charges in for a grab, and. Okay. Yeah. The Wonder Wing, he isn't using it quite offensively, but defensively, that Wonder Wing is paying dividends. Like like a game stock share. Yeah, it just can't run out. He only has two left. And he's at a very high percent. So one good Nikita can catch Banjo and kill him without the Wonder Wings. There. Ooh. Okay. That dash attack. That situation has to burn it. Has to burn it. All three jumps. Okay. And they still... 
stayed within that area and just to get killed. Very hard to come back from. But Utopian Ray managing to do a lot of damage to Sensei. If he cleans up a stock real quick, then, you know, it's a completely even game. So right now, Sensei is looking to get some more damage. Doesn't really. Great down throw to up tilt to close out that stock. And now only 10% is separating them. And Utopian Ray is looking a lot more comfortable than he was, you know, by the end of the first stock. So... Sensei has to gain his bearings a little bit. Oh, find a way stuck. past he got stuck. wall of grenades. Oh, no. It's, it's going to add up. See, what I'm noticing is uh, Sensei is always uh, ready to mash out of that down throw setup. Ooh, what a nice little combo from uh, Red. What's the, ooh, ooh. Dangerous set right now. Like, they're always ready to, to mash out of that down throw. Oh. Did he get a sticky on him? Yeah. Oh, fate was sealed there. Yeah, that's a, that's a, what a great read. Uh, yeah. The fact that Snake basically has a command grab <laughs> in the air, sort of. I mean, it's, it's the world's just, just, just most delayed command button. grab. Yeah, yeah. It's like, uh, just like, what, you didn't want to get hit? So you shielded? <laughs> oh, you blocked? <laughs> Near me? Four. Die. <laughs> yeah, there was no chance to jump. You just have to like not get hit by anything straight, just to help combo into that. Thank you for the sub, Black Sheep. Hey, what's up? Yeah. Thanks so much, Black Sheep. Hope you're doing all right. Yeah, okay, so I wanted to bring that up too, like earlier. How like Snake, even though he's able, like uh, Sensei's ready to jump out of that, Snake is just heavy enough just to just to barely go anywhere when they do jump out of the down throw setup. So Banjo can definitely easily kill them. All right. well, we're now at Final Destination. I really agree with this. I've seen yeah. Ray play Banjo on FD, and just the way he moves, the way he uses the uh, those grenades without any platforms to get in his way, uh, it really just shows how much of a developed neutral Ray as a player has. Yeah, Sensei agreeing to go here. No slots here himself. What? Is there a reason that grenade went right through him? During I, I could have sworn that... So he up smashed. Did... The banjo grenades are supposed to explode on contact, right? I believe so, Ooh. yes. So was that some Z-axis stuff? Possibly. I'm about to go back and watch it. I didn't really see it. Uh, okay, oh. whether we catch the landing, this is why Ray picked the stage. Nowhere for Snake to go. They can't really just come back on the stage like that, especially when they have Wonder Woman. Very easy punish for Ray to get and to take the first stock. Ray is up. Good parry. Oh, imagine if that all worked. It would have been really bad for Sensei, but they're down by a little bit more than Banjo. Gotta find a nice hit. Good kill. Maybe play a little more aggressive. Ooh, okay, I almost sniped him there. Oh, again with the Wonder Wings. You know, earlier on in this set, he was not connecting those, but I think every single Wonder Wing that he's gone for has actually, you know, Oh, this is so mark. bad. <laughs> <laughs> I, okay, I like the idea. Sensei did not mash at all that time. He tried to really mix it up. Uh, but the ultimate mix up on uh, on Toby Ray's part was just mash the up top button. <laughs> yeah, like, they really have nowhere to go no matter what they do in that situation. This is Snake's weight. It just helps them get killed by that, that throw setup all the time. I almost feel 100% guaranteed at that percent. And with that grenade damage, like, adding up from that throw, too, it's, it's helped Ray a lot. Now Ray's up. Grenade's still in play. He tries to roll in and get a free up tilt, but Ray stands out of the way. Gets hit by the C4. They forgot it was there. FD is a really good counter pick for Ray here, as they're just catching a Snake at the right time, putting him in disadvantage, making them take way more than they need to. Oh! Again, with the, the, that little quick combo. Um, I also love the way that Ray has been using his, uh, the, the fact that Banjo has multiple jumps. You know, where he'll jump, sort of be at this diagonally above and away angle, and then as soon as, um, Sensei takes to the air, he's able to reposition in a micro way in order to punish him. Oh, uh, no, no kill there from, uh, Ray. I think they could have killed the side beam. But yeah, they were, they were using that off the ledge, too. But it's like, they would go, they would go to it, and then... Sensei would try to go for a two frame there, and then he just jump away from it. Like, all right, cool, I got three jumps. <laughs> like, they ain't catching me. <laughs> That's okay. Be... This is gonna go for a read yeah. here. Yeah, and it works. 
No roll from Ray. Ray thought they were okay, just not moving. See one good hit. It's the last stock of the set. Yep, that's it. Never forget about Wonder Wing. <laughs> yeah, and on FT, it's so much harder to avoid. Yeah. You have to always keep in mind it's just an option he can throw out. And I think in the position that he threw out threw it out there, that wouldn't have even been punishable, right? Yeah, like he was so he would have wound up yeah, on the other side. Yeah, his shield was low too. His shield was super oh, low. Oh, was that a shield poke? You saw how low his shield. Oh, was his it. shield was real low. That might have. Yeah, so. No, he was rolling, but still. Yeah. <laughs> that would have done a lot. <laughs> I kind of feel like checkmate there as Ray put them in that situation just to get killed by it. Very rough to avoid a banjo with all those wings on stock. You just have to like. Really slow down and distance yourself from neutral. Maybe like take a couple hits. Like like a grenade's not gonna kill you. I, I feel. Oh no, they can confirm it. Never mind. Or like a, like yeah. an egg. An egg could definitely. And not mess up your life. Maybe who knows. Perhaps I just have a dearth of experience here. But Snake feels like the kind of character where he's not. He doesn't get like when he's down, he gets like that one super cool combo that brings him back into the game. Yeah. It's more about, you know, just playing well over an extended period of time and being able to rack up damage and trades. Uh, so yeah, like when you're in that situation down 144%, it, the amount of reads that you're ultimately going to have to do in order to cl like clutch the game as Snake is just, especially against a player like Ray, kind of feel almost insurmountable.